The next time you're in traffic, driving past Batoni Railway Station, or watching from a train, take a glance at the special flag staff that dates back to World War I. The flag staff pole was first used on Anzac Day 92 years ago, and it was the first Anzac Day observance in New Zealand attended by the Prime Minister. The flag staff is built from both Australian hardwood and New Zealand kauri and was first used on Anzac Day in 1916 when the then Prime Minister, the Right Honourable W.F. Massey, unfurled an Australian flag presented to the Railwaymen of New Zealand by the Railwaymen of New South Wales to symbolise the unity and comradeship of the Australian and New Zealand Railwaymen at Gallipoli. The men from the Hornsby Railway Station swapped flags with their counterparts at the Batoni Rail Workshops in 1916 with the Hornsby and the Batoni Anzac Day ceremonies being simultaneously held. 37 New Zealand Railway men lost their lives at Gallipoli, 10 from Batoni, the most prominent of whom was Major Norman Frederick Hastings who died at Gallipoli on Monday the 9th of August at the Chunuk Bear Offensive while serving as a part of the Wellington Mounted Riflemen. In the contingent of 173 that Hastings and the others served in, 53 died on the same day. Major Hastings was mentioned in dispatches and received the Distinguished Service Medal and the French Legion of Honour for his bravery. The special flagpole at Batoni is now mostly used for ceremonial purposes, such as Anzac Day and to mark the death of prominent New Zealanders. The most recent was to mark the passing of Sir Edmund Hillary.